it's Wednesday. Packing day. RV is getting wrapped with a cover. It's in a storage. And pretty soon I'm going uh, for New York. Uh, this uh, <laughs> RV adventure is on pause for at least six months. So you may hear for some uh, reports from Europe. And it's Thursday, 5 a.m. Uh, I called the front desk in a motel. I said, I need 4.30 uh, wake up call. Never happened. So without my trusty smartphone, how would I make the flight? Call never happened. Wake up. So I'm still sleeping. All right, next stop, JFK, New York. So I'm in New York, JFK airport, and uh, waiting for boarding. There's one more hour, actually 50 minutes to take off, so we're gonna board soon. And uh, I had the adventure, needed to take the COVID test. So after 23 hours, I landed finally in Belgrade, Serbia. I uh, got a pickup, uh, this is taxi, but actually it's uh, this guy. He was a kid when I left in my Boy Scouts, 15 years old. Now he's, yeah, so, yeah so his son now is 22. So you can imagine what happened during these 30 years, but still respect for the Godfather, you know, regular pickup and, uh, so my hometown, you can see every building has uh, some uh, little store or uh, or bar. There's like uh, at least 17,000 bars or restaurants. And this is part of the town called New Belgrade because it's built after 1945, before that before Second World War, it was only sand here, like a desert, sand. And then they built uh, this <coughs> new modern part. And the red buses, city traffic, we have really good, a lot of uh, buses and train cars, but uh, packed, always full of people. And now we're coming to the bridge over Warsaw. South. <laughs> so we're now coming to the bridge over River Sava, which is the local biggest river in all Yugoslavia, the biggest river after Danube that comes from Germany. And across the bridge, it's old part. So my house is uh, over that hill over there, down on the other side. And this new, new construction, see that building, it's like in Dubai. It's actually some Arabs building Belgrade on a river. That's what we call it, Belgrade on a river. So it's gonna be high rise buildings, expensive luxury uh, shopping malls, restaurants and stuff. Adjacent to the old part, part for the poor people. This is for regular people. And this is the center of the town called Terrazie. It's around this uh, fountain, which is old from like, I don't know, transferred here actually from, but it's old, like 150 years or something. From 1860, yeah. And that's the main street. And this is old Moscow Hotel, Hotel Moskva. Old. So straight that, that's the main 
main shopping and main street. And the building on the left is National Theater. There's a stage place and several stages actually. And there's a museum and people over there in the restaurants. We like restaurants all day long. So that's the National Museum, really nice stuff. And you can see all these wires from uh, electric uh, cars, public transport. And look at the progress in Serbia. Kentucky Fried Chicken. You think we are uh, some third world country? Kiros. And this is the college here. Only mathematics and science. But during the Second World War, there was Germans uh, yeah, there's a jail there. They were arresting locals and throwing them there in a jail. And this is my corner where I spend my youth, over there, on the stairs of that building we're sitting, and you can see everywhere coffee, coffee cups and stuff. So that's, and my building is here on the left, third floor. So, we are at my place now. This is where I grew up. And if you saw my uh, earlier videos when I was talking about the poker game we were running here, like sometimes from uh, after high school in 70s, the whole 70s, from 72 through 1980, it was at this table, this small room, this small room, <laughs> packed with people and I told you we played a uh, five card draw only four people and like bunch of them standing around and uh, waiting the turn every day kids from neighborhood they skip the school and they come to play <laughs> and guys from neighborhood across the street so this was my bedroom that was uh my bedroom, my uh, desk that I didn't use really for a homework, mostly just <laughs> sitting there. Uh, all those books I read long ago and uh, they took down my posters. I had their Beatles, Beatles and Bob Marley and stuff. Now we have some Chinese bullshit. This building across the street on the that last floor, there were two brothers. One of them was regular in this poker game. And over there, two, another two brothers, set of two brothers, uh, older one was in a game. And uh, from the other side, around the corner, another two brothers, a uh, younger one was in the game regular. So, and also uh, on this corner, down on the first floor, on the corner, Another two brothers, both of them in the game, most of the time. So that's my porch there. You'll see stuff later. This is just basic. So, like I said, that was my room. And I want to show you this, something that I just saw here. Look at this. Jean-Michel Jarre, oxygen. So those are my 
vinyls there. We're gonna go through that and select top five my old records.